blood. I'm framed for Hummel's murder. Casey. And a man like Talbot will believe that you killed Hummel so you could keep that $15,000. Sure. After getting a load of his suspicions, the cops would think I meant to ditch Hummel's body somewhere in these woods and then keep on driving. He'll figure I got stuck in this mud hole by accident. Well, I, I can tell him Wait that... a minute, kid. Wake up. You're in this as deep as I am. K Casey... Now, wait a minute. Let me look around in here. Ah, huh. Fitzroy made this frame really good. That gun. Look at that. Hmm? Three empty shells. The gat's still warm. Hey, Squint Hummel must have been shot here just now. And somebody in the neighborhood may have heard the shots. Look, Casey. Huh? That bobbing light up the road. I see it. Somebody carrying a lantern. Annie, get out of this car. We've got to meet him and head him off. He mustn't have a chance to see the body. No. We must have time to think this out. Say, kid, we are in a jam. Hi, down there. By yourself. You folks in any trouble? No, no, no trouble. Oh, no. Out for a walk on a bad night like this? Uh, yeah, we like the rain. Must have a car parked someplace. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't get stuck in the mud, did you? Oh, no, no. No, the car's all right. Hey. I didn't make you out till I got this close, mister. Guess you didn't find that telephone. Telephone? I told you there was one at the Beeman place. You told me I'd find a telephone at the Beeman place? Don't tell me you don't remember that. Mister, I never saw you before. You haven't been to your house? He was. About ten minutes ago, lady, but I didn't see you. I don't like this at all, Annie. Look at me close, mister. Mosley's your name. Okay, Mr. Mosley. Look at me close. I'm the guy you saw before? Well, uh, you got on the same hat and raincoat, uh, same size, and you got mud up to your knees. Look at my face. I couldn't see your face before. You had your collar up and your hat pulled down. Annie, you get it? <laughs> I'm afraid so. You're the same fella, all right, only now I ain't so sure that you're a boss man. Uh, 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 what man? Uh, like I said, when we talk at the door of my house... Annie, up the road. See, a car coming. With a police searchlight on. That's a prowl car. Mm -hmm. Oh, brother, now we're in for it. Casey, what are we going to do? Hey, who are you people? You know me, Officer Bannon. Oh, oh, hello, Mosley. Just got a radioed report of gunshots. Know anything about them? I hear them, too. Glad to see you drive up here, Officer Bannon. I think these folks need investigating. Now, look here. Where's your car, mister? I... We may as well face it, Casey. Yeah. All right, my car's stuck in a mud hole back there, Officer. You'll find a dead man in it. A dead man? But we can explain. Put your arms over your head. That's right, Bannon. Put your gun on to The them. sooner you get Captain Logan of Homicide out here, the sooner you can relax your grip on that shooting iron. Uh, Captain Logan knows us very well. I'll bet he does. And the commissioner will be a friend of yours, too. Well, if you don't believe me, get on that prowl car radio of yours and Officer call it for Officer Bannon, there's yeah. another car coming. Yes, I see. Hey, you in that sedan. Who are you? What are you doing here? This is for you, copper. Oh. 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 Officer Bell has been shot. I'm getting out of here. Rest of you. Don't move or you'll get it too. Hey, the old guy, where did he go? He got away among those trees. Anyway, those two are the chumps we want. What? You want us? And how? Hand over that envelope you got from Hummel, Casey. Hey, you're, uh, you're Ed Stark, one of Fitzroy's mob. Where's that stuff? You think I got something from Hummel? Yeah. I don't get this. Oh, Casey, we thought... Will you hand it over? Or shall we find it? The hard way for you. Starkey, I didn't get any stuff from Hummel. 